What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Frank, the Cuban Flash Sanchez. Frank Sanchez quotes, I feel that the technique and speed that I have can beat Joe Joyce. Frank Sanchez, of course, knocked out Carlos Negron Saturday night, but there is another six foot six heavyweight in the back of the Cuban contender's mind. He said, I want Joe Joyce, Sanchez said during an open workout Wednesday, because I feel that the technique and the speed that I have can beat Joe Joyce. London's Joyce has emerged as one of the boxing best heavyweights over the past two years. In his most recent appearance, the hard-hitting Joyce battered Joseph Parker until he became the first opponent to knock out the former WBO champion of the world in the 11th round at the AO Arena in Manchester, England. Joyce is 15-0 and and 14 KOs, and he finished off Parker, which is 33-21. and And he said, Joe Joyce, I seen him last time fighting, said Sanchez, who is ranked third by the WBO. And I feel that I am a lot quicker than Parker, a lot sharper, and my punches are a lot harder. The 30-year-old Sanchez, which is 20-0 and and 13 KO, weighed in at a career high at 247 pounds on Friday for his 10-round bout against Puerto Rico's Negron, which is 25-3-20, and 20, who weighed in at 244. Sanchez, a Miami resident, was nearly eight pounds heavier than his previous high, 240, the day before he defeated Efe Ajagba last October 9th at the T-Mobile Arena. He said, I feel very prepared and I had a good camp, Sanchez said, and I feel that with my experience, I'm going to be at the top with all the other heavyweight champions out there. I've got more speed and experience than Negron, and I made it count. Let me counterpunch. Um, I love the confidence. I love the confidence with um, Frank and but I didn't love the weight, okay? Um, he was 240 pounds. I think that's a pretty good weight for him. You know, if you want to pile it on, pile it up to 240 and let 240 be your cap because he did look explosive. He did look impressive against Efe Jagba, and he was the first to beat the um, tough, hard-hitting Nigerian with a classic, you know, uh, cult following you know, already have hit as him being F.A. Ajagba, making people walk out of the ring when the bell goes ding, ding, bars. So I do think he does have, you know, that under his belt. However, Joe Joyce is a totally different animal, okay, for many reasons. He might not have as many professional fights as most people, but he's been in the amateur rankings to be in there and to fight, you know, guys like Usyk, uh, Anthony Joshua, and many, many more. OK, and Joe Joyce <clears throat> is a kind of guy that loves to trade with you. And like Negron was having success against Frank Sanchez in there. OK, he really was. I mean, he was landing some shots against uh, Frank. And I think if it wasn't for the weight gain, I think he wouldn't have been able to catch Frank with those shots. And I think that weight was uh, a deterrent of him. I don't think it helped him at all. He looked chunky. Um, he still had some explosiveness and some speed, but it's not the type of speed that I'm accustomed to seeing from Frank Sanchez. OK, so him wanting Joe Joyce is the thing to happen because Joe Joyce is at the top. He's at the top. He's the number one. You know, what would it benefit Joe Joyce to fight him? I don't know. A stay busy fight to prove that he is still the juggernaut. Who knows? But as far as Frank Sanchez, I would I would um, <clears throat> I would say any dangerous guy like Joe Joyce that has, he has to move for 12 rounds. He has to be in there. He's not going to get <clears throat> Joyce out there with, with one or two shots because Joyce likes to trade. That's one of his, um, his trademarks. He likes to punch and take a punch, but then he lands his own punch. And a lot of times fighters that are, that are accustomed to executing a punch are not executing on trading a punch. 
you know, the, the counter. Imagine you're trying to counter someone and you get countered. That's Joe Joyce's game. He likes to make you think that you got the best of him, but at the same time, he's just setting you up with that type of punch because he knows that his beard can take that punch that you're throwing, but can you take his? And you don't want to get in a firefight with a guy with a, with a tank for a chin like that with his bone density five times the amount of an average human being. You don't want to be like that because who knows, you know, you don't want to have that type of, uh, struggle or that type of challenge. You want to be able to use your speed, your experience, your boxing skill, your combinations. That's what Frank needs to use because if he goes in there and tries to th show that that firefight shit with Joe Joyce, he might end up on his back. Okay, that's that's one of those things. Now, can he do it? Does he have the tools? I think so, but he needs to be a hundred percent prepared. And I don't think he was last night when he took out Carlos Negron. It took him a while, which I think if he was smaller, he would have been more successful. And he would have done it a lot earlier. On top of that, he would have been able to finish. Okay. And one thing <clears throat> I noticed, his endurance is his killer. That was the main thing that stuck out about Frank Sanchez. That seven and a half pounds extra, that's what was causing his mouth to open. He's gasping for breath in the seventh and eighth round. He heard him in the seventh round, Negron, he did, but he couldn't finish. He couldn't capitalize on it because he couldn't put the punches together because there was no energy left. Okay, that is that con uh, uh, contributes to the fact that he was too heavy. All right. So I think at the end of the day, you know, Frank, if he wants to take on guys like Joe Joyce, don't come in at 247 because he's only going to work you and outwork you. And then he's going to he's going to press you and force you to fight. And then you might not be ready for that, especially if you run out of gas, because he will just be getting started. You know, it's an endurance game with Joe Joyce, you know, along with toughness and durability and all that other stuff. But that's what he works and that's what he banks on. The other guy getting tired, getting tired. You know, I don't get tired. I let the other guy get tired. You know, that's the that's the mentality of a guy that that used to practice Budo. And you, if you don't know about Budo, it's a martial art mindset that you don't drink, you don't smoke, you take care of your body, your body's your temple. And, you know, you have to make sure you and the right, right type of mind, body and spirit to handle anything that comes. And that's inside the ring or in battle or outside of battle. OK, and Joe Joyce trained for Shaolin. So it's a lot, a lot of different aspects to Joe Joyce that a lot of people don't realize but I do. Okay. So it's more to Joe Joyce than you think besides him putting on some boxing gloves. I seen this cat do a capoeira flip. I'm like, yo, this big six foot six, 350 pound bastards doing a capoeira. That means he's naturally big like that. Okay. Frank Sanchez is not just because you get older and you start getting bigger. Don't mean that's the good idea to be or, or, or to make because you're an athlete. If you're an athlete, you have to find that sweet spot on how good and how fast and how quick you are at a certain weight that works for you. And 247 does not work for Frank the Cuban Flash Sanchez. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Frank calling out Joe Joyce, saying that he's ready. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.